What is up my people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Nassim the Dream. It is that time of the week. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Singles of the Week. This is a segment where I like to break down the newest tracks that I've dropped this weekend. I'm going to give you my thoughts on them and I'm going to give them an official rating. Be sure to check out all these songs for yourself. They are all linked in the description down below. Now let's get right into these new singles. All right, we're going to go off with Trans Electronic Duo over Mono with the track Blown Out. So with this track, I like what they do progressively. It ensues a fun rhythm that feels like it succeeds at a reaching point to the audience while also making it really cool cool ambient sequences to make it feel a lot more extravagant a little bit more versatile i think it could have been utilized a little bit more effectively in my opinion it sounds like it was kind of just like pasted directly in the half point and then it just feels like it just goes back to its normal program all of a sudden i don't know it's a bit of a head scratcher but i do think it's worth checking out then we're gonna go off with angel olsen's greenville so in my opinion the guitars during the midpoint are just mixed way too loudly like very distracting into the atmospheres that bring a lot of beauty and texture to the song uh but as a folk piece progression wise doesn't really do anything for me it's a pretty standard folk song folk pop song but i don't know i feel like if you're into the niche you should definitely check this one out for yourself but i really do feel like there's an issue with the mixing all right then how about killer mike coming out with some bonus tracks this one is called maynard vignette and is featuring ti jid and jacques fucking dope ass inclusion from killer mike this brings a soothing essence of r&b music with his atmospheres jacques is just amazing here Heavenly vocals, T.I. and Jid are lyrical candy, and Mike is a great leader on this song. This is the perfect guy to really lead these men on this type of track. It's really, really good. Very significant bonus track. I love this. And then how about New Jeans with the track Beautiful Restriction? This is for a new show that's going to be airing on Netflix very soon. So I swear, there really is something about the chemistry with this group, New Jeans, because every time I hear these ladies hit the, hit the stage, like they just work beyond to their benefit because of how well they work with each other just how well like their chemistry is there is something serious in the raw talent of these girls hands down it really comes off as quite enchanting it's a cute little guitar solo involved in here too that i thought that wasn't really too bad instrumentally it is a little bit lackluster and you're not gonna find anything too unique and bold compared to what you've been hearing in the k-pop genre but if you like if you like in a sense just like that sense of what you're gonna expect like you, you kind of can almost predict what you're gonna hear then yeah, i think you would like this it, it the, definitely deserves the green it's a really good song all right so james blake is finally out with his full record and i got to check out the track tell me i don't want to speak too much but this is a very odd song it's like a like a rave experimental r&b track that i don't know I don't know. It, it it hit me in a really weird spot. Like I was kind of joking along with him, like, "Oh, they're gonna he's gonna do a Darude Sandstorm," and he did Darude Sandstorm. It, it was weird. It was weird. I gotta check it out with the context of the record, but I think for now I'm gonna have to give it the record. And then Motionless of White is out with the track Hollow Points. I'm I'm digging the riffs. Sure, they're heavy, but lyricism is just too much on the nose for its hardships. Like it, it doesn't help with this type of metalcore either. It's just really just standard pop structured generic metal music like more is really needed to break this type of track into something that feels like more it stands out a little bit more i'm gonna give it the rap all right then flow millie is out with the track chocolate rain so rhythmically it is very interesting i do like that she takes new routes into trying like some bujabi style percussions on here it was really interesting and very notable and flow was flowing on here for sure but there just really wasn't enough space to really fill what was really needed to really keep the audience engaged in my experience with the with the song. These d distortions aren't really doing anything for me at all. They're good, but more unique sequences were definitely needed to really make the difference for this song. It just doesn't feel like there's not enough involved. And the Chainsmokers is out with the track Summertime Friends. I honestly don't even know why I still talk about the Chainsmokers. I guess I'm just kind of like just wishful thinking, hoping that the group has some new spark and something that would make me feel like they can be really, really dope and fresh again. But I think they're just always going to stay as pop industry plants from now on. So, but yeah, in terms of this song, yeah, it sucks. It sounds like a total ripoff of a bland Post Malone track. Not a good one, a bland one. So this is bad. And then Code Orange has got an EP out. And this one I'm going to check out and tell you about. It's called Mirror. I'm not going to lie to you, I was severely confused when I was playing this song. I, I thought that it was one of those moments when you're on, I don't know if this happens anywhere else, on like on Apple Music or just any anything else, but on Spotify, sometimes certain artists have like similar names or like the exact same name and get mixed up with a song that's not even theirs, so that sometimes happened, and I thought that happened with this one, but it is them, and it's just weird because with this track, it's totally different from what they normally do. It's like a 
like a 90s style rock song like soft rock song and it's just like it almost kind of reminds me of radiohead early on in the beginning but i thought they were like i don't know I, it was it was definitely caught me off guard so i had to like really readjust for this so i mean if we're really looking at what we're looking at right now i mean i feel like it's not that bad like it, it really is like impressive in some sorts like the singing was actually really good for metal singing it was actually pretty nice and honestly i'm not really sure where this might lead to but i'm open to it all right and then lewis the child is out with the track stay with me and this track features artists absolutely what is absolutely is is forgettable i forget i forgot like i played the song three times and i was trying to see like is something i missed and like oh man it was so hard to pay attention it just it was so boring it, it really lost my focus m numerous times throughout the song breakbeat music is cool and all and i like that they were bringing that on but the target was clearly missed right, and then weathen is out with nessa barrett on the track sick of myself uh nessa is very fitting as a pop vocalist for edm music i do like her and i want to see her more on uh collab with other djs but sad to see on this one it is such a poorly written track if you like drops that are just like very fun and playful try it out yourself of course but i just thought it was so basic and lazy it, it just was boring boring producing this is like the kind of stuff that you hear when you're first producing and i thought it sucked all right and then how about with some good stuff from matamos with the track mud dauber wasp so these guys are just absolutely nuts at their job like they i pretty feels like they actually use like a real wasp noise i'm sure they did I mean, they already made a whole album based off a of plastic noise. It's insane. Uh, this is absurdly brilliant, though. It's an awesome creative threshold that these guys just constantly push, constantly push. And how can you even think of like a dance noise fuse like this? Like it works. It's wavy. It thumps. It, it, you feel the dance aesthetic part of it. Like I feel like I was cruising through this thing. And these are just sounds that just like I never heard before in this type of sequence. It, it, it's it's so weird it's like i'm like battling a bee trying to sting me in outer space while i'm crossing a black hole it's so weird but it's awesome very unique insane design oddly enjoyable experimental music right here and then how about cobra with the track feminine energy yet another good piece from this hyper pop contemporary exploring more sides of ether pop that seems very pure in my perspective the bass in this track is super thick in your face and full giving that futuristic nightclub feel it's almost like it's in a cyberpunk world it's euphoric it's contagious it's just overall good track then boyish is out with the track split up this is an indie rock band that i've been really enjoying as a late so wonderful undertones lifting up this dynamic of this song it is such a light song yet appears with some somber tones that i feel like works so well with it as far as a pop genre indie song goes uh yeah this is quite delightful it's, it's just very light it's joyous yet has great filtering to it um a little bit more definition could have really went a long way for the song but i still think it's good and how about lolo zao with the track vvvvvip vvvvvp this is an excellent pop trap song crazy crazy sharpness to it like oof it's super thick like super fat and yeah very glamorous style to the vocals too that i really really like it's short it's short though i just wish that it had more like elongated things so it can have like a more epic ending because i think the song was really really fun in the long run it, it really is a bop and then punk band soul glow is out with a track called if i speak shut the fuck up uh they, this song is just disgusting the song is goes stupid hard like the moments that are thrilling really do creep up on you out of nowhere really quick rapid fire of adrenaline that just comes and goes before we even know it the tracks over and it, it's really really dope it's a it's like almost like a punk version of knock loose's counting worms but better in a way it's a very odd analogy but i think it's a really fire song and the track that i chose to react to this week comes from cardi b's bongos featuring megan the stallion be sure to go check out the reaction right after this video it'll be linked at the very end and for the rating the official rating on here i'm gonna go with the green i'm gonna go with the green i think it, it had a lot a lot of fun moments in it over and over playing for it i really do like it um but when i think of like a fire rating i think more of the wap style that one just kind of resonates with me way more the song is really really good though i think i highly recommend you check it out and to end off this week's singles of the week the best track that released this weekend comes from geese's newest bonus track that is going to be debuting in their deluxe record 4d and this track is called jesse this song is so so amazing so delicious just so powerful the vocals are just so ranged and they feel so 
potent and genuine with emotion is just pouring out and then the follow-ups with the guitars and the rest of the instrumental just gleam and resonate so much with that similar emotion and it just becomes such a powerful track at the very end of it it is so nice to hear this is my kind of rock music you guys need to check out geese if you have and that is why geese's jesse is the best track of the week and that is it for this week's singles of the week guys thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoy gonna like share and comment down below and make sure you let me know what you think about all these tracks they are all linked in the description down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna catch you in the next one Doses. <laughs>